let's start with our revision of essential geometry and uh, we will start very simple and the first thing is properties of right angle triangles and the Pythagoras theorem and this is indeed a simple but very important and favorite starting point which is that for this right angle triangle where the angle C is the right angle and the midpoint of the hypotenuse, let's call it O, will turn out to be the circumcenter of this triangle. And that would mean then that the circumradius will be equal to C by 2. And also the line joining C to this circumcenter O which will be the median of the circle of this triangle from C, the length of the median M will be equal then to the circumradius and this is an important fact, formula, whatever you want to call it and we will remember this. Now in this nice picture, we should go ahead and uh, prove this. There are many, many proofs. I'll just go through one or two proofs that will also be a part of standard geometric reasoning. So, let's uh, go through the first proof. And that depends on uh, construction. So, what I shall do is um, I shall from this point O, which is the midpoint of the hypotenuse, construct two perpendiculars. Now, this is one perpendicular and this is another perpendicular onto the other side. And I think you know where we are headed. We are going to show that these are actually OD and OE are actually going to be perpendicular bisectors. And then that would definitely prove that O is indeed the circumcenter. How are we going to do this? We are going to use our favorite argument in basic uh, geometry, which is that we easily spot two similar triangles. I'm just going to I'm just uh, drawing them. So basically, O B D is similar. To E B C, and that is because of this right angle and one common angle, so A A, and that would immediately mean that uh, the ratio of these two triangles is clearly one is to two. For example, this side to this side is clearly one is to two, and that would mean then that this length will be A by 2 and similarly this length will be B by 2 and we have done and shown that OE, OD and OE are perpendicular bisectors and O is the circumcenter. So I purposely chose this because it's a good revision of similar triangles. We repeatedly would like to emphasize that Similar triangles is a very important tool. Many problems will be based on similar triangles. And here it gives us a very nice proof of this fact. Let's just go through another proof of this because that also turns out to be a standard move. So let me just erase the working out of the first proof. The second proof is again a standard move. Whenever we have the median, Often what we do is we go ahead and extend the median onto the other side and double it. Okay. Now, once we do that, what happens is if these two lines, let's call it D, if CD and AB are diagonals, 
diagonals of this parallelogram which we will now complete oh sorry diagonals of this quadrilateral which we will now complete it turns out then that this quadrilateral a c b d is a parallelogram that is because the diagonals are bisect each other by construction bisect by construction so we are talking about a parallelogram now in this particular parallelogram the angle c is 90 and the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so this is 90 the adjacent angles are supplementary so this is 90 so we've actually ended up with a parallelogram which is a rectangle and in the rectangle then the diagonals are also not only bisect but also equal okay so we've just gone ahead and shown that the diagonals are actually equal or congruent and that would mean then that we have given another proof of the fact that the median length is equal to the circumradius so this is a quick recap of the starting point let's go ahead and look at this time in the next interesting theorem instead of the median we'll draw the altitude and once again we'll end up with some nice formulae right so this time let us revise another very important set of formulae for the right angle triangle once again uh, c is the right angle and this time cd is perpendicular to ab and that means that cd is altitude the key point here is that these two triangles so triangle one is similar to triangle two so we just write it here triangle one is similar to triangle two is similar to the big triangle which is ACB and this fact will lead to a very important set of formulae that we have to memorize let's call this side as C as per standard convention and now please note that uh, this length is CA and uh, so BD is CA and AD is CB right so let me just write it here if you want ad is cb and uh, bd is equal to ca now the formula let me just write down the formula up front because these are the things that we have to remember so a square will turn out to be c into ca and b square will turn out to be c into CB and H square will turn out to be CA into CB and together this would mean that H will also be equal to AB by C so great set of formulae and um, let's actually just go ahead and uh, derive them so before we go into the derivation i just want to highlight more how this formula is symmetric and pretty easy to remember now let's just watch one last thing here note that ca plus cb look at the diagram look at the diagram here ca plus cb is obviously equal to c now if you're going to use those formulas here we're going to get the fact that a square by c plus b square by c is equal to c and this would mean one proof of the many hundred plus proofs or 200 plus proofs that exist for this famous starting point so we've ended up coming to the pythagoras theorem so having convinced you that all these formulae are extremely nice and symmetric and useful is important let's write down the proof quickly so uh, the proof like i said is all about using the similarity of the triangles that i've already mentioned so what is the implication of the similarity so let's just write it down so 
one is similar to sorry one is similar to the big triangle would mean so let me just write it down one similar to a c b and then two is similar to a c b now this would mean a c divided by a b is equal to a d divided by a c is equal to c d divided by b c and this would imply b by c is equal to c b by b is equal to h over a and we immediately get from here immediately get from here that the first nice formula which is that b square is equal to c b into c now how about the second similarity so we get c b divided by a b is equal to c d divided by a c is equal to b d divided by b c and this would mean a by c is equal to h by b is equal to c a by a and this again would quickly imply okay this will this is equal to this would mean that a square is equal to c a c so that formula again is easy and uh, finally from here we get h is equal to a b by c which is the other important formula that we've been talking about and um, also you can notice that uh, I can just write it down if you want take CA CB from here and CA from here and um, should I just write it down here CB multiplied by CA you can see that it is equal to B by a h into a by b h and that would simply mean h square so i've derived all the important formulae that i've listed down and they're all consequences of the similarity of the three triangles and with that we have not only given you the important formula but we also shown you how it leads to one proof of the Pythagoras theorem. Now we'll end this particular video with two simple problems for but very famous problems for you to complete and that will be the end of this first lesson. So here is a problem that will lead to a proof of the Pythagoras theorem, another proof of the Pythagoras theorem and the key idea here is a nice construction. So let me explain the construction to you the triangle is ACB with as usual the right angle at C and the sides of the triangle are A opposite angle A B opposite angle B and C which is basically this length and opposite angle C so that's the basic right angle triangle and the circle has been constructed with the radius as A and the center at B and what you will see now is that AC is tangent to this circle tangent to this circle which has been constructed further what you see now is that it's fairly straightforward to see that these two triangles as marked here are similar right so that's the second 
key element of this proof. Now why are they similar? The two angles that are equal are already shown here and this angle A is common to both the triangles and uh, therefore they are similar by AA. And uh, now I leave it to you to s just write down the implication of the similarity and uh, that will lead you to a nice proof of the Pythagoras theorem. So once again, the key element is a clever construction, a very clever construction and uh, that's where you need a little bit of help but otherwise uh, the main idea is similarity and we will never tire of telling you the strength of this particular idea. So now uh, let us also talk about the other problem that you can try. Uh, this is again another popular configuration. So let me just explain to you. The right angle triangle here is A, C, B and this is a circumcircle of triangle ACB. So that's the first thing that you need to know. And this one is a semicircle, semicircle on diameter CB okay and similarly by this one is a semicircle semicircle on diameter AC and what you have to prove is, I'm just going to write it down here, the shaded area here, which I'm calling it as 1, this shaded area here, I'm calling it as 2, and the area of the triangle, okay, should we just call this as area of the triangle A, C, B, okay. So what is to be proved? Please prove that area 1, plus area 2 is equal to area of the triangle ACB. So that's the problem. It's a straightforward application of the Pythagoras theorem and the only reason for giving it to you is the nice um, picture here and an elegant application of the Pythagoras theorem. This ends our first lesson on right angles and Pythagoras theorem but in the next lesson we shall continue the same topic and uh, talk about one or two interesting properties of this right angle triangle plus we'll end with two slightly challenging problems.